Good morning. It's foggy this morning. Anyways, 3.30. Been on the road about 20 minutes. Coming to town. Got called into work. Arlo is still in the bed. I told him I left Bella in the house. So in case anybody would not knock on the door, Bella bark. And uh, he won't be so spooky scared or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, which way. I'm headed into the work. Uh, going to a neighborhood we call Woodland Hills. Usually when the power's out over there, it's an issue. Y'all stick with us. Gonna have to have a little caffeine. Uh, we'll leave that change for the next main. <laughs> All right, ready which way. We called in, got power out. Uh, and we're just rolling. I'm gonna give you a little view of what goes on in my world. And hopefully y'all stick tuned. Man, it's early. Like I said, I don't really like to come out this early. Uh, I'm trying to get my mouth working, get it joke, get it going, my feelings going. The main thing is I gotta get it, be safe, and uh, get back home so Harlow can get to school because he ain't got a ride right now. So I'm going to. I'm just gonna go in this truck right now. I'm gonna go in this truck and. It's a little man truck, we call it a little man truck. I'm gonna go in that truck because most of my stuff's in here. Ah, let's roll. You can see that right there. Not anytime you roll up and you got you got two jacks out right there. Going into the main three-phase line into that. That's not very good. <laughs> Hopefully what's gonna happen is uh, maybe a limb or something fell back there, but maybe it uh, fell off. Maybe it didn't break no line. So we're gonna go in there. I'll, I'm not gonna video because I need to walk all that out and make sure that everything's fine. But any which way, let's, uh, let's go see what the problem is this morning. That's what you have to worry about a lot of times when you're walking these lines out. Like, I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna stop right here so I can look, but uh, a lot of times what you have to worry about. They ain't fenced in, a dog just come out of nowhere and be acting up. But anyway, let me stop. Anyway, before I go any further, we're still looking. Uh, please get lucky, please get lucky. This video, you can see right here, I got a big old tree down, but this is not my problem. Uh, I don't see anything yet. But back during the summer, I asked these trees be removed with a big excavator we had and because this is the road that comes into this back side of this uh this line that we had to use right away and it seems that the trees are still here so if i have problems on that way uh it's gonna be an interesting day interesting night but ain't nothing we can't handle before it's just aggravating it's three o'clock in the morning anyway oh, we're still going Ugh. let's be careful and keep our eyes open like I said, main thing, so that phase on that side, that one's still hot. So that's a good thing, but this one in the middle of this side is not. So, but looking on down, the phases are in the air. So that's, as of right now, unless I'm speaking too early, I got two more poles. That's a good thing. So we're still being safe. We're still easing through. Like I said, we don't want to walk up on nothing. Cause a problem. All right, so... What I've walked up on right here is a limb, the line being right, the line being right there. Uh, this limb right here looks like it's falling. It does look freshly broke there and rotten. So that very well could be the problem right there. It's right above the lines right there. So we'll check out. We got a few more, few more poles to check. If that's it, we're gonna go in and try it out and see what happens. So there's the end of the line and uh, go down to that subdivision, get them dark too. So, anyway, let me back this off a little bit. We're going to walk back out. As you can see, you got street lights right there, but that's only different. That's only the other circuit that's still hot. So, I'm actually I'm not going to walk it back out through the woods the way I come. Uh, I seen the lines are up. I seen it was clear. Other than that one limb that was on the ground, so everything's clear, but I'm walking back out on the road. I got a long ways to go. I'm going to show you if you can see or not. Can y'all see them headlights? Way up yonder. 
So, but the reason I'm walking back out in the street back up here, those dogs I showed you, those, <laughs> one of those dogs, as soon as I cut the video off, one of those dogs actually got out. And this song, little song, gonna come got me on my heels. So I like to clock them in the head with this thing, thing right here. But anyway, just from an accident happened of a dog, you know, accidentally going into a coma for life. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna walk it back out here. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna close these switches in and see if we can't get the power back on so when they wake up, they can get the kids to school, go to work on time, and be thankful. <sighs> get my exercise up. If people get up here at four o'clock in the morning, be running down the road like this right here. Man, what's wrong with them? I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I want cheat those in a you hoo Oh, boy. See them cones right there? So the other day, we had, uh, we worked, guys working on the highway, we set them cones out, and uh, somebody didn't, they didn't care, and they smashed one. So, give a little extra buffer room right there. And uh, anyway, we'll get up in the bucket, get them switches closed in, and see if we can't get some power on. Yeah, they seem to be home. Got power on across the road. Boy, he's on up the road, make sure everybody's got power, and then we're gonna call it a night. What you want to see right there? I already got a, I already got a text message from my buddy Bruce. He said, "You want some coffee, man?" <laughs> Looks like all the streets lights is on. Oh yeah, everybody. That's what them dog what it song on bit my ankle. I see you up in there. I see you up in there. <laughs> they barking now. I can hear them. <laughs> Anyway, we're just cruising down a little low street. This ain't a road, no, it's just a little low street. But we're just making sure everybody's got power. I'm just trying to give y'all a little indication of what goes on in the life of a life. Roll on up in here in the barn. Roll up on here in the barn. Ugh, I was trying to get the garage door open. Don't get that garage door open when I can walk up in it. We home, boys. We home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's rough as early tomorrow. Ain't young as I once was. Oh, the gates is locked back. Gone up in here. Back up there in the yoga hall here. This is what I want to show y'all real quick. This happened on the highway the other day. So I had a pole hit. Uh, as you can see the cone. I had a pole hit Friday night, Saturday morning about midnight. And uh, the other guys went back to work at Monday or Tuesday. And... Uh, that's what happened. There was cones out around the truck and 18 wheeler come by and actually run over the cones. So, man, you just gotta watch people. People don't just don't pay attention like they used to. Like I said, uh, that could have been somebody. So y'all be careful out there, man. I'm doing the best I can. And maybe this video a little bit, just a little bit of what I'm doing. I can't show you everything, you know, that I do while I'm working just, you know, but, uh, cause I can't film and work at the same time. Maybe I get a GoPro and we do a little bit, maybe show you my world, but any which way. We headed to the trailer hood. Let's call 911. Pike County 911. Ah, uh, yes, David with the electric apartment. The power uh -huh. should all be back on at the moment. All right, y'all have a good morning. You too. Right. That's how done. Confirm money paid. There <laughs> <laughs> we go. Trailer hood. We back at it, baby. Finally made home. Let's fight a little five. It's a little three, a couple hours. It wasn't bad, a couple hours. Fix the problem. That's going to town and back, so. Ain't no bad deal. Oh, I'm loving ready to rock now. Shooting on, I ain't get up by six forty five. <laughs> I'm a guard dog. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come here. Look at my side. Oh. Come on. Come on. Screw your back. Come on. What you done drawing in my yard? Huh? Anyway, we back home. We're going to check the hall on this minute with the dog the bathroom. Sleeping. He's still sleeping. Oh, I'm gonna put some lights on 
right here. Oh, we got dark. You got real, real dark. <laughs> anyway, I just want to. I'm at home. We're going to read a little bit of Bible, a little bit. Just know, but look, I want to say something here. Let me get my hand just right. I want to say something here real quick. For all you linemen out there, young bucks or old bucks or whatever, I've been doing it for 21 years. I've been, my boy's 14. I've been going in and out of this house late at night for, like I said, for 20 years. And this is the end game. This is the end game right here. You got the power on, they're satisfied, and you make it back home. I got a 14-year-old kid in there that needs his dad. At this point in life, at this point in time in life, right now, I'm a single father trying to help, trying to raise that kid, and he needs his father, and I made it home once again. Now, that being said, I got a hot girlfriend. She's sweet. She's just everything you could ask for. So, I want to be there for them. Her child, I want to be there for the family. I, I want to, you always want to come home. I don't, I don't know, I'm just rambling here, but I want you to know, for anybody that does line work, this is the end game. Don't worry about the people out there that's powers out. When people in town, when their powers out in town, they're at home. They're at home. You're not. Don't rush it. Just go easy. It's just a little bit of footage that I had tonight. I didn't show a whole lot. Uh, you know, mainly... Oh, because I just can't work and, and film, but I just want to show you a little bit of the routine of what goes into it all. But for all you lime out there, slow down. Nobody, listen to me. Look at my eyes. Nobody cares about a hero when it comes to line work. You'll be known as a hero for getting the lights on. But you mess around and get hurt. You can't hug your child or even your dog or your parents. You might be the one having to be hugged all the time with no arms or no legs or whatever. So, Slow down. Don't try to act like you the man. I, I need you to understand this. Don't act like you bad. It's just a job. And do your job well. But you ain't no big man. You ain't no superman. And that's real talk coming from a man who has been in this game for a long time. So any which way, say your prayers. In the end, this is where you want to be. At home with your family. Any which way, y'all have a good one. God bless, and as always, Jesus loves you.